Hey guys. Yeah. So, today was good. Um, today was definitely interesting, especially the starting out this morning, because normally I drive myself to and from school every day. Well, today I had mom bring me to and from school. Not because my car is broken or anything. No, I promise. My car is perfectly fine. It just... I had a doctor appointment, and I don't have enough gas to drive from my house to school, to the doctor, back to school, to my Emma's house, to Grace's house, and then back home. Like, I just don't have enough in my tank right now. So, um, yeah. Anyway, so during first period, we were having to take a little test. It was maybe 30... No, more than 30. Probably like 45 questions, something like that. But they were all pretty easy. It was all multiple choice. Um, up until like the last three pages. And I say pages because it would have it so like you would fill in like the name for the cavity. Like the body cavity, like upper right quadrant, lower right quadrant. Um, the pleural cavity, the cranial cavity, the spinal cavity, etc, etc. Um, that took up a couple pages. Um, the rest of it was just like in a scenario. Like, you have a 47-year-old male who was run over by a car. His car was hit by the driver's side door of the other car. He is laying in... Um, in prone position. He has no apparent back injury, but does require a C-spine. What, what, what kind of, I don't even know, I'm just trying to think, like, it would be like, why is C-spine required for this patient, or something, and you would, like, answer A, B, C, or D, and it would just have multiple choice stuff. Um, anyway. And then we watched people give birth, <laughs> like videos of people giving birth vaginally. And then Monday, yeah, Monday, we're going to watch people um, give birth both vaginally and via C-section. And um, yeah, and then in second period, we were doing a lab over tissue. I had cardio tissue. I had liver tissue. I had loose connective tissue and then another one um and you pretty much just drew it out and you had to write down three functions of it and where it's found obviously like cardiac tissues found in the heart liver tissues found in the liver etc etc um so that's pretty much what we did the entire period fourth period no 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 then after that we um actually got out of class early and we had what we call an AIP party, which is Academic Incentive Program. It's pretty much like if you have really good grades, you can um, put in an application for it, and they only take a certain amount, and yeah. And it's a pizza party. Um, everyone gets two slices of pizza, two cookies. Um, you can get garlic sauce, you can get pepperoncinis, and you can get three different kinds of pop or water. And in this case, the three different kinds of pop were Mellow Yellow, um, Dr. Pepper, and Coke. Um, I actually got Mellow Yellow just because I do like Dr. Pepper, I just didn't want any, and then Grace got Coke, and Emma got Mellow Yellow. And, uh, yeah, at one point, they actually ran out of plates, so they started ripping the pizza boxes in half. It was Papa John's Pizza. Um, they ended up having to start ripping the pizza boxes in half, like the top and the bottom, we w they would use those for plates. Um, which was kind of entertaining to watch, because at one point, at the very end, someone was taking, like, a bunch of their friends' boxes, like, 15 people's boxes, and just shoved them down to the garbage can, and I'm walking over there like, okay, how is my plate going to fit on top of this? It was so full. Um... Anyway, then in third period, we were working with log. Um, we were actually finding, like, the X of log. Like, it would be log X plus one, parenth end parenthesis, log parentheses, um, X plus one, end parentheses, plus log parentheses, one, end parentheses, equals three. 
and you would have to solve for x. In this case, I'm pretty sure x equaled 1. And then it had a base of 2, so it would be like log base 2, parentheses, 1 plus 1, and parentheses, plus log base 2, plus, um, parentheses, 1 equals 3, or something like that. It was, it's kind of convoluted, but, um, if you know how to do it, it's a lot easier than it sounds. Um, so I have to finish a worksheet for that, and then fourth period was definitely interesting because that's the period I actually left rather than fifth period which is where I no when, when I normally leave because obviously that's the last period of the school day um anyway so in fourth period I walked in Mr. Camp said okay I have a bunch for you to do today I said okay fine I just have to do it quickly because I'm leaving well he had me deconstructing some labs which was a parachute lab which was no big deal it was literally just like taking stuff out of bags sorting it out and um yeah and then i had to clean off the back whiteboard and rewrite the schedule or write the schedule for next week and then um he had me um, punching holes in papers. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much everything I've done. And then, then I went to my doctor's appointment. It was just for a sports physical. Other than that, she only asked, um, two questions. One relating to me, one relating to mom. I'm only going to answer the one related to me, and that was if they put the birth control, um, Nexplanon in my arm or not. And they did. It didn't hurt. They really didn't have any question about it. And... Um, my OBGYN was more just like, yeah, no, you should have this rather than pills or rather than, um, another kind of hormonal treatment just because this would be, this has less harsh side effects. Like the pills have like a really large side effect for like massive weight gain and a bunch of other stuff. This doesn't, this is like a weight gain of maybe five pounds. Um, and it's just the side effects are much less um, quote-unquote dangerous for me, so, um, yeah, oh, and then I got this t-shirt at the AIP party, it has my school's logo, and then AIP written on it, but, uh, yeah, so then mom and I went shopping, and got groceries, and got medicine, and came home, ate dinner, and I've pretty much just been watching Family Guy and hanging out. Um, tomorrow I have my dress fitting for my prom dress. I'm very excited because um, it's more just getting cut shorter than anything. And then it's just a couple other little things like a seam here or just sewing up something. But yeah. Um, anyway, I guess I will just talk to you guys later. See ya.